building a spear gun, it starts with the timber, mill down, prepare. It's then a matter of just shaping it all down, oiling it up, rigging it up with a spear and some rubber. Yeah, it's good to go. I'm Tasman. I'm Em. Along with Em, we're um, starting up a business making timber spear guns. Yeah, left my um, engineering job and just been doing that for the last couple of months. I would have been maybe four years old, first time I put a mask and snorkel on. And um, yeah, absolutely loved it. Just seeing all the fish and all the marine life. Had such a fascination and such a curiosity for it. I remember just going home and writing down notes on everything I'd seen and the satisfaction of being able to then go and um, you know, catch fish with that thing that I'd made. That was what motivated me, I think, to consider sort of starting a business with it. Good girl, Merce. <laughs> I am just the other half of Lou Bates. I definitely bring that element into Lou Maid where I really care about sustainable fishing, um, really care about the whole making process, making sure that we're using um, sustainable materials and like not mass producing or anything like that. Everything's made very slowly and by hand. I think it's really like amazing the connection that people for generations have had with catching fish and providing for their families that way. It's something that would be so sad to see that lost. There's adventure around every corner in Tassie. You've got to be built for it. But um, yeah, we just got to take it in our stride. I'd been surfing for a while and I decided that instead of designing buildings, I was going to make surf movies for a job. I moved to Tasmania about seven and a half years ago to work on a documentary with the big wave surfers that sort of grew up surfing Shipstone Bluff. And every opportunity I get to document a significant session could be historic. So I put my all into it. But I'm also doing that not only for me, but for my kids and my family. The ocean to me is, is life. I live at the ocean. I work at the ocean. I spend my free time free diving and I love it. It's everything to me. The weather here on the island is always changing. It's very fickle. So the elements need to combine. And then when those elements look like they're gonna combine, it's deciding on where we're going to go and how we're going to get there. I was just trying to check him the other day. I got that little like, it's kind of like the biggest sort of swell it looked like I've seen there in a while. I saw the chart, it was looking like 8, I saw an 18 second period, I thought maybe even 19 or something. I'm like, oh shit. You never know what you're going to get, and that's, that's exciting to me. the ocean and that creates good friendships, it creates experiences and man without it, geez I don't know where I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> 